the adult club in Greenville County. So Berkeley, we've heard there were actually dogs with this suspect when he crashed. What are we learning about these animals? That's right, Cody. I talked to Jordan Bryan's mom earlier. She says this has absolutely devastated their family. But what we do know right now is that after Bryan left this shooting at Bucks Racks and Ribs, he crashed his car and his mom says his three dogs were with him during that crash. Now, sadly, one of the dogs was killed and the other two haven't been found. I could actually see the front entrance through the trees and I heard some people come out and start shouting and yelling and then I heard bam, bam couple of gunshots. Brian Johnson works beside bucks, racks and ribs. He says he heard gunshots coming from the parking lot just before 2 a.m. I heard the gunshots and the first thing I did was fly over here to see if I could see anybody leaving. Deputies say this man got into a verbal argument with a woman inside the club, then took the argument outside where Brian shot her. Deputies say the suspect and the victim were already gone when they got to the scene. Well, then I pulled on down and then I saw a, uh, a black Kia Soul come flying out with it headed towards the hospital. Well, that turned out to be the girl that got shot. Johnson says he also saw Brian race from the scene. Late model Camaro came screaming out of here and then he about took the front off of my car. He was probably doing 60 when he left the parking lot. Within minutes, a canine deputy spotted Brian's car near Edwards Road in Taylor's. They tried to stop him, but say he got away, but not for long. Deputies say he wrecked his car into a power pole, then took off. He was arrested a short time later. We've learned Brian's dogs were inside the car when he crashed. His mom says one of the dogs was killed in the wreck and the other two are still missing. His mom says the dogs didn't deserve this and is desperately trying to find them. And here's a look at the two dogs. Jeffy is on the left and baby is the gray one on the right. Brian's mom believes the dogs were last seen in the Edwards Road area. Now, anyone with information should call our newsroom at 213-2121. And tomorrow morning, Brian is expected to have a bond hearing. Our cameras will be rolling there at 930 in the morning. Live in Greenville County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. And for updates on this story, plus breaking news and weather, download the Fox Carolina News app. You can also stream our news.